Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question top k frequent elements. So we're given a non empty array of integers and we need to return the k most frequent elements. So for example, let's say this over here is our input and our k equals to 2. So we need to output the two most frequent elements. So in this case, the two most frequent elements are 1 and 2. Since 1 has a frequency of 3, 2 has a frequency of 2, and 3 has a frequency of 1. So we're just going to output the two most frequent elements, which are 1 and 2. So let's look at how we can actually solve this question. Okay, so let's say that this list over here is what we get for our input. And the k value we're given here is 2. So we need to return the two most frequent elements inside of our list. So how can we do this? So first, our first step is going to be, we're going to use a dictionary, which is going to hold all of the values and their frequencies. So let's just do that real quick. So, so we have one, which is repeated for a total of three times. So we're going to have one with a frequency of three. Then we have two with a frequency of two. Then we have three with the frequency of just one. And then we have four with the frequency of four. Okay, so as it is, what is our output going to be? So the two most frequent elements in this case, it's going to be four and one. So our answer should be four and one. But how can we actually get that answer? Because a dictionary by itself does not group the elements or arrange them by ascending or descending order. It's just randomly assigned in a dictionary. In order to arrange it in such a way that we have largest frequencies, what we can do is we can use a heap, a heap queue. So a heap queue is basically a special sort of tree structure where the parent node has a higher value or the same value as the children node. In Python, we have an inbuilt heap queue module, which we can use to implement this. All right, so how are we gonna do this? So we're gonna have a list, right? Which is gonna be, uh, which we're gonna use as our heap, and we're just gonna call it answer. So that's gonna be an empty list. So we're gonna be iterating through everything inside of the dictionary, and we're gonna keep uh, pushing it onto our heap, the answers, until we reach the length of k. So how is that going to look like? So first we're going to use the heap push command, which what that does is it pushes the item into the heap. So first we're going to add 3 comma 1 and we're adding 3 comma 1, we're adding the frequency first because we want to arrange it by frequency. So we're going to add the so 3 comma 1 and we're also going to add 2 comma 2. But now, so now our answer list has the same length as k. It has a length of 2. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use the heap push pop function. So what it does, it first pushes an item in. So first we're going to push the item 3, comma, uh, 1, comma 3. So And then after this, we're going to add 1, 3. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pop out the smallest frequency. So we need to compare between 3, 2, and 1. So which one is the smallest? Obviously, 1, 3 is the smallest. It has the, le it has the least frequency. So we're going to pop this out. And our heap is only going to consist of these two values. Now we're going to repeat this step for 4, 4. So now we're going to add that to our heap. So 3 comma 1 and 2 comma 2. And then now we're going to add 4 comma 4. So we're going to use the heap push pop. So first you push 4 comma 4. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the frequency. So we have 3, 2 and 4. So which one over here is the smallest? 2. 2 has the least frequency. So we're going to pop this element out. So we're going to pop this out. And now we're going to be, our, our heap 
is only going to have the values of 3 comma 1 and 1 comma 4 and our last and final step is to only is to get out the key so we don't really care about what the frequency is so we're going to get out 1 and we're going to get out 4 and that's the same as our output over here so let's implement this in code which should be a lot easier to do so our first step we're first just going to initialize our two variables so we're going to have the answer which is going to be an empty list and this is going to represent our heap then we're going to have a dictionary so i'm just going to call it frequency uh, and it's just going to be an empty dictionary okay and then after that we need to iterate through all the numbers so for num and nums so now we're iterating through all the numbers and we need to add that to our dictionary so we need to first check if num actually exists in the dictionary so if num not in frequency then in that case we're going to add it so freak frequency num and then equals to one and else we're going to add one to that value so frequency num plus equals one so we're adding an extra count of one okay so now that we have our dictionary we can uh, now add these to our heap so we're going to iterate through all the items inside of our dictionary so for key comma val in frequency dot items so we're iterating through everything in, a, in our dictionary so if the length of answer is less than k then we're going to push the element into the heap so heap q dot heap push and then where are we going to push it onto so we're pushing it to the answers list and we're first going to put the value and then the key and one more thing we need to do we need to import this before we do that so we're just going to do import heap q okay so else so let's say if our the length of answers is equal to k then what we're going to do is we're going to do heap q and then we're going to do the push pop function so heap push pop and where are we doing it on the answers heap and we're going to do value comma key as before and we're going to keep doing this for everything inside of our dictionary and in the ending we're going to have a list which has key values so we're going to have value comma key but we only want the key so we're going to do for so we're only going to get out the key so key for value comma key in answers so we're only returning the key in this case so now let's submit our answer and our submission did get accepted and finally do let me know if you have a better solution I know you can do this in Python using just one liner, but that just includes importing, uh, importing a lot of pre-built uh, functions in Python. So I think this is a better way to do it. And finally, don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you.